Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Unscripted Coding. Today we are gonna go and actually do another fun project here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at a few different options to extract text from a PDF, and then we're gonna run it through OpenAI and ask it to uh, summarize that text. So there's two parts here. Uh, I have a test PDF file where we're gonna try and extract that text, get what it says, and then we're go gonna send it through an API to OpenAI, you know, GPT, natural language, and ask it to summarize it. So, um, we can even ask questions about that text too. Um, just throwing that one out there. But uh, I have been looking a little bit and I've come back to this over and over. I, I work in the legal industry, so PDFs are all over the place and they are a massive, massive pain to deal with when you're talking about extracting text because um, Sometimes you get PDFs that are scans of images. You need to run it through OCR or optical character recognition. Sometimes they stick to a standard, sometimes they don't. Sometimes you have you know text boxes here and there. Sometimes there are layouts. Sometimes there are tables, images, all sorts of unknown things in that PDF. And that makes it very, very hard to find a good library. I found this benchmark in Pi PDF, you know, benchmarking PDF libraries, and this is um, very, very helpful because it lists a number of ones that are useful, and it talks about what's really good. Um, you can see that there are a couple. You know what? Let's skip that. Yeah, text extraction speed, image extraction speed, those are useful, but really what I care about is accuracy. And down here, you have a bunch of different options Pi PDF Film, Pi Mu PDF, uh, different um, options to figure out. But what I found frustrating with these first three is that. Um, they rely on external libraries, they rely on the fact that you're on Windows or you're on Mac, whereas Pi PDF, yeah, you, you tick down a little bit in the quality, but it is a pure Python library. So um, that means that you don't need to install anything as long as you have Python, you can, you can make it work. And I'm willing not everyone is, but for my purposes, I'm willing to sacrifice just a little bit of the quality um, to, to get this moving. And I remember the last time I looked at this, Pi PDF was down a little bit further that made it unacceptable. I was also looking at PDF Plumber because that would be able to recognize um, tables and, and uh, other kind of formatting changes. For now, not so important. I just wanted to see if we can do it with Pi PDF. So uh, I lifted some code almost straight out of the uh, the documentation, but very simply, we got to install um, Pi PDF, and then we're just going to find the right page and extract the text. Very simple. They have a method for you. So in this case, uh, Pi PDF doesn't exist yet, so I got to install it. Python, no, uh, not Python, pip install pi PDF. Oh, I think I made a mistake here. Uh, nope, that's fine. They do have version one and two, but uh, <clears throat> it seems like this one's automatically there. Uh, let's, you know what, that's not important. Uh, in successfully installed pi PDF. So I called it test PDF. It's in the same folder. And it's just going to add it to the text. And we're going to print text and see where we go here. So I'm going to save this. And we're going to go run dot Python. Hmm. Okay, let's try that one more time. Uh, Run.py. Oh, 
Okay, so module's not found because I haven't set this up correctly yet. Uh, let me find if this is the correct one. Okay, I'm going to move this off screen for a second while I find the right path. Mm, scripts, Python. Okay. Now that we found the right path and the right virtual environment, let's run this one more time. No module named PyPDF. That is very strange. So let's close these up. Run. Oops. Okay. I think we're doing much better here. Uh, please be advised. So um, you can see, yes. So let's look at the document again. Where are we? Where did I put this? You can see it's three pages. Uh, I, I saw, you know, the yoga room trial. These are, you know, uh, strata minutes. Um, I think it caught everything here. And then there's an internet site so that was where that weird box was at the bottom you have a bunch of people's names whatever um, so we have this next step and I'm pulling code from my own side here um, we need to send this off to open AI and I guess we're gonna have to come here we don't need to return, we just want output equals, and then let's print output text. I think that was what it was. Okay, um, so first off, I need to pip install open AI. Import open AI. I have a secrets file. That is where I'll put my key. So let me see. If I can find that file and just move it right over. So I'm going to move it in here. Now we have a secrets file. I wonder why it's having problems here. Pip. Oops. Oh, uh, not open API. Pip install open AI. I don't need this, um, but I will want right here. Okay, it's bugging me that this is highlighted yellow, but we've clearly installed it twice. Now, uh, when we get down to this, and we should really break this up into functions, but for now I'm just going to make it line by line script. Uh, when you send something to OpenAI uh, through their chat model, your, your first job is to create a system prompt. This is to set the tone, give a bit of background, and here I just said, you are summarizing text for a business person. We can definitely um, change that prompt to be better. 
here we are going to uh, let me just change model equals um, GPT-4. So you can choose your different models. Uh, over here, we're going to have prompt. But what I'm going to say here is the first message you're sending to a chat, please summarize the following document. And then in our next message, we're just going to paste that document, which was this text that we've taken out. <clears throat> we're going to send it to chat completion. It has a model, it has the messages. We're going to get a response back, which is completion and the text. And then we're going to print the output of text. For now, I don't care what it says anymore now that I know it works. So let us run this and see how well it goes. Okay, no module named OpenAI. Let's skip over and see. No module named OpenAI. Okay. Pip install OpenAI. And you know what? I might as well do this. Now that's working. Now we're going to debug. Take a look. Attempted a relative import. Let's try this. Okay, uh, let's see, import, import um, variable from file in same folder Python. seem to work so no dot instead we're gonna have to wait for it to run so right now first things first it's going to take all that text and then it's going to now summarize okay so instead of a three page document here all of this stuff it says you know the met amenities management committee held a meeting on june 8th um, 2022 discussing various items including the financial report usage report and issues with the hot tub and yoga room so that covers all the things the committee approved the financial statements and instructed the strategy agent to seek clarification on certain invoices the usage report was not provided but will be prepared by the strata agent meanwhile the hot tub has to be temporarily closed due to high temperatures and chlorine levels and an issue with the btu display console is being investigated by cur controls the yoga room trial has been extended to promote increased usage and ac condensing fan motor repair costs will be allocated to a strata budget the next management meeting is yet to be determined um that seems absolutely excellent so um gpt4 so i am paying a bit of a premium to get uh, better results but let's try gpt 3.5 turbo just to see how how different it would be so my next step, and I'm going to do this off video, is I'm going to find a way to loop through a bunch of these PDFs 
and I'm probably going to try and spit out an Excel file that says, here's the name of the file, and then here is the summary. Um, and this is all just boilerplate code. Okay, uh, next version, uh, met via Zoom, uh, call to order, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this seems fine, but I like the GPT-4 version better. So, uh, I hope that was helpful. You can see how this is going to really change how uh, we do business. Uh, somebody uh, would have had to read a lot of these documents. They're kind of dry, but if you get these short, you know, one paragraph examples each time, that's going to make a huge, huge difference. So thanks for watching, and I hope to do more practical things with AI uh, in the next video in the next week. Thanks for watching.